Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on Venn diagram, function notation and probability. Uh, it is a revision exercise based on an IGCSE past exam question. Okay, now here we go. It says, uh, 90 students are asked which school clubs they attend. And this information is contained in a Venn diagram as shown here. Okay, D stands for Drama Club, M stands for Music Club, S stands for Sports Club. And note again that within the Venn diagram, that, that within the Venn diagram itself, we've got some gaps to be filled in. Okay, so we've got these gaps to be filled in. Now moving on for more data, it says uh, 39 students attend music club, 26 attend exactly two clubs, and 35 students attend drama club. So we're going to use, we're going to use this information to fill in the gaps. Anyway, moving on, it says find um, N D intersection M. So we want the number of students who are, who are in D intersection M. Secondly, we want to find the number of students in D intersection M intersection not S or S prime. Okay. Now note the brackets, the internal, the internal bracket there. And also the external bracket. Okay. Moving on, and it says uh, one of the ninety students is chosen at random. Find the probability that the student only attends music club. attend both music and drama clubs and the next one says two of the 90 students are chosen at random without replacement find the probability that they both attend all three clubs one of them attends sports club only and the other tends music club only. Okay, now we shall now attempt to fill in the gaps. And um, for the gaps, I've given them the names uh, Z, uh, Y, and X. And then N. Okay, now for X first, we want to fill in X there. So we're going to look at the information given to us about the music club. We know that 39 students attend music club. So 10 plus 13 plus 5 plus X will give us 39. And that's what we got here. So X gives, gives us a value of 11. Now for Y, we need this information here that 26 students attend exactly two clubs, which implies that one there which is uh, 11. That one there, we get to find out. And then of course 10 there, exactly two clubs. So we then have X plus Y plus 10 is equal to 26. And that gives us, gives us a Y value of five. Next, we need to find Z. And to find Z, we need the information about the number who attend the drama club. Okay, drama club is there. So we need to find Z and 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus Y. And for that, we need to have a total of 35. So we've got this here. Right, 
So we've got 10 plus 5 plus 5 plus z and 35. So z give us a, a figure of 15. Okay. And for the next one, we need to find n. Now, all of these will add up to 90. All of these add up to 90. Okay. So we do. Uh, 15 plus 10 plus 13 plus 5 plus 5 plus 11 plus 23 plus n is equal to 90. So n will give us a value of 8. So n is 8. Right. Now, next slide. Okay. Now, we shall now attempt to answer uh, the questions we did, we did not answer in the first uh, slide. And we've now got all the gaps filled in from the uh, first slide we had already. Okay, now for the questions, it says find uh, the number of students in uh, the intersection M. So we're looking at the number of students in this, re in this region here. And clearly, that's going to be 10 plus 5, and the answer is 15. Okay, now next one says find the number of students in the intersection M, intersection S prime or not S. Now working from the inner bracket, that D intersection M is going to be this region here. So that's D intersection M. And that's 15. But it then says intersection not S. Now clearly this 5 here is in S. So we do not require this 5. So the answer should then be 10. Moving on, it says find the probability that the student, uh, so one of the 90 students is chosen at random, find, find the probability that the student only attends music club. So we're looking at this region here. Okay. And that's going to be 13 over 90. And the second section says attends both music and drama clubs. So we're looking at this bit here, D intersection M. So the answer should be uh, 15 over 90. Now you can simplify that to 1 over 6, but because we already, uh, you are fighting against time in an exam situation, so if you left your answer as 15 over 90, that should be right. Okay, now moving on still, it then says, uh, Two of the 90 students, that's it, two of the 90 students are chosen at random without replacement, without replacement. And they said, find the probability that um, they both attend all three clubs. Okay, they both attend all three clubs. So, we're looking at this region here. Okay, they both attend all three clubs. So, you pick the first student which is 4 over 90. But having done that, you got to pick the next student. Now, because we picked one student, we, are now, we now have only four students left in this region here. And that also means that we now have only 89 students left in the universal set. So we then end up with 5 over 90 times 4 over 89. So our answer should then be 20 over uh, 8,010. Now, you can simplify that to 2 over 801, but it doesn't really matter. If you leave your answer as 20 over 8,010, that should be okay. Now, moving on to the next question. It says, uh, one of them attends uh, sports club only, and the other attends music club only. So, we can either do sports club first, and then music club or we could do music club first and then sports club so you got two choices there so if we look at music club first we pick 23 out of 90 okay now having picked up having picked one student there we now have only 89 students available in the universal set so put 22 over 90 times the number of students who attend music club only 
that give us 13 over 89. Let's go there. Or you could have picked uh, the student from the music world first. So you can do 13 over 90. Now, having done that as before, having done that, you now have only 89 students available to you because it's without replacement. Then you pick 23 from the sports club over 89. And when you do your arithmetic, you end up with um, 299 divided by 8010 times 2 because, because these two are the same. And you end up with 598 divided by 8010. And that is your probability and that is your answer. Now, I, have, I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe and thank you for thank you for watching.